Today in the news, we got good old NVIDIA shenanigans and AMD is blacking out. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Here, NVIDIA released something that can only be described as incredibly useful for many, RTX Voice. Unfortunately, that feature seemed to be reserved for the then latest generation of GPUs, the RTX 2000 series. Now, as you might know, the same day that the RTX 3080 released, NVIDIA took RTX Voice, updated it, and packaged it with RTX Broadcast. This made it super easy for streamers and others to replace their webcam background, uh, blur the video, or fix their audio by removing unwanted noise. That's if you had an RTX GPU. You can check out my video on RTX Broadcast right up here if you want. The thing is though, Nvidia did a pretty sneaky thing. When they released RTX Voice, they claimed that the new app used tensor cores and AI to do the noise canceling. Honestly, I don't think that's exactly true. Here's why. I borrowed two GPU, the Turing-based RTX 2060 and the 1070, which is based on Pascal as a non-Turing reference, something that had no way of getting boosted by the Ampere or Turing design, AKA the RTX designs. In terms of voice processing, here's the GTX 1070. This is the audio quality of the GTX 1070. Now I'm gonna to start to type gingerly. Chances are you won't be hearing a thing. And now the 2060. This is the audio quality of the RTX 2060 with RTX voice off. And now I'm gonna type gingerly while talking to you to see if it has an effect. I think they both sounded very similar. As for gaming performance, they were pretty close. In my case, I got about a 9 to 10% impact on the 1070, and from what I saw from Gamers Nexus, up to a 15% decrease on a Pascal card. Although his modded version of RTX voice sounded like crap, so I would take my numbers instead of his. Take a listen. GTX 1080 testing time by extreme with the RTX voice on. Once again, his was a mod, so I don't fault him for that. I also checked with Tech Power Up. They got anywhere from a 8.2 to a 9.9% .9 hit to gaming performance with an RTX 2070. So the difference seems minimal to me if you have or you don't have tensor cores or if you're on Ampere, Turing or not. So NVIDIA might have misled us a little bit with the uh, AI branding for artificial software segmentation at the start, which honestly doesn't surprise me, but it makes me wonder a little bit. Is DLSS 2.0 really hardware dependent? I mean, with DLSS 1.0, the features needed training from the big NGX servers on every game. And then after that, the algorithms would be pushed onto the drivers and applied by the tensor cores in games. It was absolute garbage, but yeah. They did say that the new 2.0 though is more similar to upscaling with a temporal anti-aliasing filter rather than just pure AI upscaling. So think about it. It might be very, very similar to what AMD's upcoming super resolution FX feature might offer. And we both know AMD doesn't have any fancy tensor cores. That's some uh, conspiracy theory stuff for you here, but it's still worth considering. Tinfoil hat, I, I raise it to you. Anyways, where was I going with hat? <laughs> oh yeah, RTX voice. In the end, Nvidia did release RTX Voice as a standalone and it's compatible with GTX cards. For some reason, this is news even though the feature has been added since the RTX 3080 launched. But anyways, it's compatible with cards all the way back to the 600 series, so if you have one, download it. It does come in super handy in a pinch. Moving on, we got AMD. It looks like the company is living in a world where they have so much supply that they don't know what to do with their GPUs. So much so that he decided to create a limited edition 6800 XT. And I'm not kidding. I mean, sure, it's not the first time that the company creates an exclusive product, but still, read the room or the globe. Anyways, it's basically the same as the reference card, except with a blacked out shroud. Personally, I really like the look. I mean, all the politics aside, I really like the look, but what about you? Oh, and if you want one, uh, head on over to amd.com, click on the product and it's out of stock. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. I just wanted to talk about that and maybe uh, get my tin hat foil on, tin foil hat on. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, actually, you can click right here to subscribe to the channel. This is what you're gonna see. Uh, stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. I need a heart. Is that the, the guy from the, the movie Oz? The Wizard of Zaz?
The Wizard of Cause. Ka-ka!